Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Although WordPress usually keeps up on uh, security so no one can hack in your website, break into it, and they're normally really good about that and always push out updates for security. There's also plugins you can use that will add that extra protection if you need it. And one of them is called a Better WP Security, and I'm going to show you how to go install that one, go over some features. So you go to Plugins, Add New, and you can search for Better WP Security. And it's this one right here. Let's install it and activate it. settings and right away when you do the settings it's going to look at your system it's going to tell you what is what you can improve about it the uh, go down the list admin users still exist the default login is always admin so if someone's trying to hack into your account it's best if that account didn't have if that, that, that account didn't exist because it's not going to hack into it uh, table prefix the default is WP underscore. It's best to change that so if someone's trying to play around in your database, they wouldn't know what, uh, they couldn't find the right tables. Uh, your .ht access, not secured. Site is vulnerable to root attacks. Uh, WordPress admin area file is not hidden. Um, not enforcing stronger passwords. Uh, headers, not as administrators can see all updates. Uh, like I said, you can go through here and you can click it to fix that uh, problem it shows. Some of them you really need to read in case you want it to do. Your WordPress admin area is available 24-7. You want to put a time limit on it. So if you're only going to update your site a couple hours a day, you can only access, set it up so you can access that for a couple hours a day, which I don't think is too smart because you might want to access it at some other time. And should rename the W content directory, which is a good idea because all your uh, plugins, themes, pictures, and everything that uh, falls under the WP content directory. So if someone's looking for all those files, they know where to go to find them all. And they give you some system information. And then you get a bunch of uh, more options here. You want to change your admin name, that's how you do it. Set your away mode. If you uh, weren't going to be around to update anything, you set your you can enable away mode. That way, it would restrict everything. Uh, ban users. If someone kept, keeps trying to log or uh, register, you can uh, ban them, or you can use IP address in case same IP address keeps trying to do it. Uh, clean database. That's where you can rename your content directory to something else. There's your uh, prefix for your database. Hide the back end. Enable HT access for uh, protection. Intrusion detection. Say if someone is trying to uh, keep hitting the same page over and over, but it's a, a bad page, that means they might be looking for pages that can get their way in. Limit logins if someone tried to log in multiple times. You throw a password, it can lock them out. And support and system tweaks. Well, there's some more options on this page, a lot of them I don't understand, but you can go through and you can read them if you want. Stronger password, tweaks. Remove the error messages, prevent long URL strings. Like if someone, that's how they hack in there is using the URL strings trying to enter information. And turn off file editor and WordPress backend and SSL tweaks. But out of the box, this works pretty good. As you saw, the home page for this has a lot of the options right here. And all you do is you click it and you fix it. 
So you install it, click it, you fix it, and WordPress is even more secure than you ever need it to be. Thanks for watching. Visit thetotalbounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.